This is a video about Visio 2003-2007 Electrical Assistance Drawing, Part 5, Creating Device Symbol Labels. We'll start out here by um, working with the legend uh, symbols. Gonna select all of those and move them to another part of the drawing. Separation. Easier to work on. I'm going to select all of them again. I'm going to insert a field and then go to shape data, which is define, and select the type. And go OK. And this is going to insert the descriptions of all these devices. Uh, at this point, we're going to change the font size to 6. And then we'll zoom in on these a little bit and uh, arrange these labels. So I'm going to go up here to the uh, text block tool and then select the device. I'm going to grab the side of that text block and just sort of pull it out. And do the same thing with the next one. And work our way down here. And this is uh, a way to format these text fields that have been assigned to the objects. Do that to each one of them. Zoom in a little bit here, and uh, we're going to select all of these again, and use the Align Shapes tool to line these up, and then to get some good spacing between them, we're going to take one of these and drag it down a little bit. And then we'll go back to shapes and distribute shapes. And here we're going to go and uh, even them out. And that will be our uh, legend for the drawing. And we'll go back and uh, work on the other devices. It's going to be a little more complicated in terms of the labeling. But again, we'll uh, separate a little bit to make them easier to see. select all of these devices and we're going to be again inserting uh, first we'll change the uh, text size we'll go to uh, six point we'd like to be actually even a little bit smaller than that we're going to right click on this whole group go to format text and change that text size to and one of the things that did is it took our uh, pull station and made the P in there a little smaller, so we're going to undo that by selecting the device and then selecting the text in the center. And we will go and take that one to six points. So it undoes that five point. We'll delete the rest of the text block. Then we're going to uh, select all of these devices and insert 
field. In this case, we're going to be going to the shape guide and inserting circuit. And all of those will show up on here now. <coughs> then uh, we'll need to work individually on each one in terms of arranging that uh, text block. We'll go to the uh, text block tool. Select the item. Change the appearance a bit. And we're moving that up to this location. And then uh, we're going to do something a little different. Uh, we're going to uh, select the device. And now, right now, we're showing the circuit number. I'm going to right click on the device and show shape sheet. And uh, this is uh, looks like an Excel spreadsheet. It has a lot of the properties of that device. One of the things we'll notice is this shape data. And we'll see uh, the names uh, of these different types of uh, uh, items, uh, the field, data fields. Uh, right now we're displaying the circuit, and there's another one here, prop.deviceID. And as we scroll down, we're going to find a place where text fields are shown. And we have a value shown in here, which shows up in, uh, in the formula bar. And we're going to change this a little bit. We're going to modify. We're going to put in um, some text operators. Uh, the uh, and sign, quote, uh, dash, uh, another quote, uh, and sign again. And then we're going to put in that field uh, that we just looked at for the uh, device ID. So PR. P dot device underscore ID. And uh, we're going to be using this in the other de devices as well. So I'm going to highlight this and uh, copy it with Control C. And we will click the accept on that and close that. And now we'll see that. Um, We'll go back up here to the text block tool and stretch that out just a little more. Move it over. Now we've got a label for that device. Now we can simplify things a little bit, It'll be a little bit easier to do on the next ones. Um, so we'll go over here, select the next one, uh, right click. Uh, show the shape sheet. In this case, we'll just scroll right down to text fields, highlight this, and then uh, control V, accept that, close. And you'll see that it's done the same thing. Uh, back up here to uh, text block tool. that block. Okay. Now once we start locating these devices on the drawing, uh, we can adjust the uh, locations of the text fields as needed. And we'll continue to do that with the rest of them uh, until we're done there. And then one thing we'd like to do before we uh, finish with this part is uh, We'll go back to the legends, and we're going to go back up to layer properties, and for the legend devices, we're going to redo the color on that and make them the same color as the rest, so we're going to make them red. Okay. Then we're going to do uh, further... Uh, things that we'll do with these devices in the next part.